Welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red, and this is a new year and a new show, and today we're going to do some great recipes. Yes, and if you were lucky like me, you might have got a new air fryer for Christmas. So we thought we would incorporate our air fryer exactly. into our recipe today. And so we've got two different recipes. We're going to do a low carb. I'm going to do the low carb side of this. And I'm not. <laughs> And Sheila's not. <laughs> so this is a very quick recipe for us yes. to do. Quick, that's me. That's me. So I'm going to make a taquito. And I'm going to make flautas. And the difference is flautas are done with flour tortillas, but I'm going to do a little variation and do this with low carb tortillas so that if you're on a low carb diet, you can do it. And, and I'm not. She's not. <laughs> She's going to do hers with corn tortillas, which is not low carb, but still delicious just the same. And if you've got, you know, if you want some finger foods or something quick and easy, this is really fast, especially with that air fryer. Oh my gosh, if you haven't tried it yet, you really should. It's good air fryer with airheads. That's right. Airheads new air fry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take a tortilla out and she's going to take a tortilla out. So we're going to we're going to baste a little bit of olive oil on both sides of the tortilla. Uh, just lightly. You don't need a lot. Just just a little bit because you want it to brown up. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank you. And in this bowl, we have shredded chicken. I got a rotisserie chicken um, and I had some leftovers. So we shredded up the extra chicken that was left and we added a can of green chilies and we added some just taco seasoning. You can buy this in a packet. You could do it yourself if you want to do your own seasoning. That's fine. And uh, look at you based. Look at look you at go. That. Look at it. Go, girl. And so we added a little bit of uh, green chive, green onions in here. Um, I just got the dry kind. I mean, something simple and quick. I'm trying to make this real easy because we want this to be easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our chicken and just take a pinch of that. And you don't need a lot because you want to roll them tight. Okay. Okay. And we washed our hands. And we did wash our hands, yes. Okay. And then just a little bit, just enough to roll up. You don't want it too big because otherwise it'll turn into a burrito. Now you could do air fry burritos too. And we'll take a little bit of cheddar, cheddar. shredded cheddar in there. You don't need a lot, just enough. And you want to make that nice, like long and skinny. And you will kind of just tighten it up and roll it as tight as you can get it. So that this in a nice slender little tube and just set it aside. Okay. So she's going to roll that up. And now we didn't use all of this packet of taco seasoning. We only used about half of it. You, you're going to season it to taste. And depending on how much chicken you have, I think we probably have maybe a cup and a half of chicken mm -hmm. here. And so we just kind of, you know, did it to taste. And because it's already cooked, you can test it out. And uh, we added a little bit of garlic salt and pepper. And so I think, you know, if with... With that in it, we like the seasoning that's in there. We don't want too much because we're going to dip these in other stuff later, which is going to add more flavor to it. So uh, we're going to grab another one. We're going to do a couple more of these. And then we're going to show you how our air fryer works and how simple it is. Okay, so what we have now, we have all of our roll-ups done. And you can put those face down with the, the opening at the bottom so that they, they don't unravel on you. Or you could use a toothpick. but. It's easier if you just, if you've got that oil on there, they stick together, but just put the opening on the bottom side. Or you can use a clamp on <laughs> It's a vice grip. <laughs> yeah, clamp them, get, keep them together however you need to. So I got the GoWise USA 7 quart air fryer, and it came with these baskets. Uh, so you can separate if you want to do chips or whatever you'd like to do. I made chips with this were outstanding the other night. So, Where you know, was I, I, didn't get it. I know. Well, well, we'll work on that now that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take each one of these little roll ups and we're going to put one of each on each level here. And if it comes unraveled, that's okay. Don't Everybody worry about it. And then this stacks on this and we're going to do across that way. Yeah. And we're just going to stack these up. And if they come apart, you know, corn tortillas are real delicate. It, you know, it's going to happen. They don't have to be perfect, but they're still going to taste it good. It will happen. If it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila does it. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is take the basket and just take that whole thing and fit it right in like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slide that right in there. 
and you'll see that will come on and we're gonna put it on 400 degrees and we're gonna put it on for six minutes. And we're gonna start it. And that's all there is to it. And we'll check it in six minutes. Okay, so we had them in there for six minutes. And now some air fryers, you may need to flip them over. The, this one I don't need to, but some of them you might. And look at how brown and yummy and crispy they came out. Doesn't that look good? It's awesome. All the way down, so we're gonna try it out. Doesn't that look delicious? Yes, it does. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm hungry, I don't know about you. I'm ready. So then you just take it and dip it in your guacamole and your sour cream and your pico de gallo. I'm dipping, are you? you I'm dipping. Are, are you ready? Stuff ready? Uh-huh. Mmm. Uh -huh. Good, huh? As Steve would say, if this is not the best air fryer... Chicken taquitos and flautas. If it ain't, it ought to be. Thanks again for watching and liking and subscribing and sharing with all of your friends and you can find us at Facebook and Instagram and be sure to sign up for our free membership and yes. you will see the link down below. We'd love to have you and you will find out about all the exciting things we got coming up this year on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Yes, and the membership is really growing fast. It is growing really fast and we are like excited that. about it. We got giveaways and all kinds of great things. So please join our membership. And we'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. Okay, today I'm going to make a catito. <laughs> catito? <laughs> What's a catito? <laughs> today I'm going to make a catito. <laughs> oh my God. Look, she's got so much oil on there, she just rubbed it into the... <laughs> she's rubbing it into the parchment I'm paper. I'm this way. Here. <laughs> well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, and then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.